Hey there, this time I just want to share with you guys how you can perform some mathematical operations with Google Calculator. So I'm just basically going to show you some symbols you can use to solve math problems. So some of you may be familiar with this. And of course, this is for the benefit of those who don't know yet. So let's get started. To do some fundamental operations, if you want to add, subtract, divide, multiply, to do is enter your equation. This is for addition. Okay. This is for subtraction. Your minus sign. To make it multiplication, hit your asterisk. For division, hit slash. Like so. If you want to raise a number to a number, let's say 12 raised to 9, use your caret symbol. And there's your answer. Aside from the caret, you can also use your asterisk sign just typed in twice and it will give you the same result so another operation you can do is getting the root of a certain number let's say a square root SQRT short for square root parentheses let's say 144 close parentheses and there's your answer if you want to get um, the cube root the fourth root fifth sixth let's say the twelfth root so just type in 12 then root then off of a particular number let's say 1400 and here's your answer so another operation is factorial let's say you want to get uh, 3 factorial which basically returns 3 times 2 times 1 which is 6 let's check the symbol for factorial is the exclamation point so let's hit enter and there you go 6 or that our equation is right so another operation you can do with Google is called modulo so for those who don't know modulo basically tells you if a number is divisible by a number let's say you want to know if 36 is divisible by 9 so 36 then mod short for modulo then 9 and it should be 0 because 36 is indeed divisible by 9 because mod basically returns the remainder when you divide uh, these two numbers. So 36 divided by 9 is 4, remainder 0. So if it's not divisible, let's say 5, so it will return you the remainder, which is 1. So that means that 5 is not a multiple, or it's, it's not a factor of 36. Or the other way around, 36 is not divisible. By five, so that is modulo. You can also use the person symbol instead of modulo, or instead of mod. It will just give you the same result. So speaking of percentage, you can also get the percentage of a particular number. Let's say twelve percent. Uh, just type in twelve percent of let's say uh, one thousand. Hit enter, and it will give you your answer, which is one twenty so that is getting the percentage you could also have some constants so I'm just going to give you some basic constant let's say speed of light is C there's your speed of light you want speed of sound um, not really sure about the variable but I'll just type in speed of sound Enter. and here is our speed of sound at C level as indicated so you could also do some trigonometric functions let's say sine of 6 which is in radians like so if you want sine 6 degrees which is well commonly used just type in degrees and it will give you sine of 6 degrees you could also do cosine or tangent and other trigonometric functions you can also do some logarithmic functions let's say log log of 2 base 10 is this particular value you can also do some factorials so let's say I want to get 3 factorial this will just return me the value of 3 times 2 times 1 so it should be 6 and there's our answer it is 6 so if you an, an additional constant value would be the mass of a particular planet let's just say earth well, we do live in Earth, so what is the mass of Earth is this one in kilograms. So speaking of a particular unit here, you can also do some conversions with Google. 
So let's do some conversions. Let's say um, I want to convert 64 pounds in uh, grams, let's say. And here's our answer. If I want to do inches to feet. And here we go. So any particular unit you want, including currency. So let's say I want to you know one dollar in Japanese yen. So let's say yen. Here we go. So one US dollar is equal to one hundred seven dot blah 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 Japanese yen. So I think that's pretty cool. You can also do some Roman numerals if you want to. Let's say I want twenty five in Roman numeral. Enter. Oops, sorry about that. There we go. So this is your Roman numeral for this particular number. So, another type of conversion. If I want uh, this particular value to be in binary, let's say 25. Just type in 25 in binary. And this is my binary equivalent. If you have vice versa, you have your binary. So let's say this is your binary. Alright. Control V. This will be read as 11,001. So you have to put the 0, then B to indicate it's a binary code. Then type in N and then decimal to get your 25. So you can do octal, hexadecimal. So it really depends on what you need. So that is four conversions. So additional things you can do with Google. So let's say when is Easter? Let's say 2007. Oops. So it will tell you the particular date of Easter in this particular year. So April 8, both Western and Eastern. So I think it's pretty cool. And another cool thing about Google is, well, if you if you want to know the answer to this question, here we go. Hit OK. It's actually 42. So I'm just going to give you the link why the answer to life, the universe, and everything is this particular number. So anyway, that is all, all, well, not, well, basically everything that I had shown you is from Google, but if you don't like to do all the stuff that I had just shown, if you're not really, um, you know, if you don't really like typing too long or you don't really like uh, typing too much, then you can always go to this site okay and then you hit calculator all right and basically what it gives you is the things that I had just shown in this format so if I want to get 25 let's say square root oops I was wrong so let's say square root of 25 there we go and then hit enter and there we go it's basically five so if you don't like typing too much then this is the site for you if you want to do some calculations with Google so there you go I do hope you learn from that thanks for watching this video and also I advise you guys to check out my other videos and my YouTube partners here and of course to all my subscribers here we go Thank you so much for subscribing, and uh, I do hope you would like my future videos. This one, well, included. Alright. So, again, thanks for watching. And, of course, as always, have fun. <laughs>